we're here. We finally made it, and it's uh, it's time for us to get all the good clothes. What are we doing for it? Oh. Y'all don't have any of the comfort, do you? I didn't think so. I was making sure. We got there. Bruh, look at these Jordans. Look at these J's. Look at these red. Ooh. Nice. Oh, this looks awesome. Oh, these are... Okay, I've got some gray LeBrons like these. LeBron Jones. Lucky this store's not near my house. You got a Tyler? You got a Tyler? Yeah, I don't like that name. It's not me well. Two hours later. Sammy Slippy Swanson Swanson Swanson. That's oh wait, Samsonite. God, I was way off. I was way off. I knew it started with an S though. Here he is, uh, fresh out of the restroom. I want to go pray for you, but not where people were like watching. You want to sit up here on my table? You dropped your chapstick. <laughs> Man, that audio movie. Do you... <laughs> wow! Wow! So it is. We're talking do we about. We want the road mic in this. <laughs> Hey Taylor, my name's Neil. K N E I L. Neil. Ooh, evil can kneel. Bull. There are there are a lot of areas of our life that we need to surrender to God. It's true. I know this may sound overwhelming. We want to give you a list of all of them right now. Our plans, goals, ambitions, hurts, the future. Jalen hurts. They have a lot of history classes. Why don't they have future classes? Selfishness. Ego slash pride. Ran out of fingers. Physical appearance, the way you look, which is physical appearance. Lust. I just said they're really <laughs> loud. A little louder. <laughs> Anger. Fear. You remember the brand No Fear? Health. That was a that's a that's a pretty overwhelming list. But there is one more thing that we are going to have to surrender, and that is forgiveness or unforgiveness. And that's a real thing. Like you can walk around deliberately not forgiving someone and, and not realize how much that is tripping you up. That means that you're holding on to an offense. You're holding on to something that has happened to you, whether meant to, like that was their intent or accidental, whatever it was, it was something you're holding on to that happened. The, the Bible talks a lot about how we're supposed to give people grace. Grace just means you're giving them a shot that, or, or an opportunity that they don't deserve. Yeah. You are giving them undeserved favor is what that is. But really, the longer that you walk around without forgiving someone, it, it kind of takes root in your heart, it deep in your gut, and it, it can mess you up. It's like you need to give them grace upon grace upon grace upon grace. Grace upon grace upon grace upon grace. <laughs> We're getting weight now. They talk about grace a lot in the Bible, and I wanna share with you guys one of the verses that they talk about it, okay? Luke chapter six, verse 34, and this is Jesus talking, okay? This is Jesus talking. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. I mean, that's self-explanatory. You know, one guy once said, do unto others as you would have them do to you. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Who? Forgive, and you will be forgiven. You'll be the change you wanna see in the world. Jesus actually said the first quote. I was kind of being subtle, but. Uh, my glasses fall up. Because I breathe in them? Surrender. <laughs> Surrendering doesn't mean that you don't have goals and ambitions. No. In fact, it's the exact opposite. opposite. What you may not understand is God has goals and ambitions for you. Yeah. But when you walk around in unforgiveness, if I haven't forgiven Tyler, I'm stuck in that spot and can't move on in my life until I deal with that one. So you might be stuck because of unforgiveness. Yeah, but what you'll find is, more often than not, you think you have this, this desire, this passion for your life. If you align with God's, God's calling for you, you're gonna notice like, wow, that was, that's better than what I had. That's better than what I originally thought. If you wanna move around, you wanna walk around, walk and talk. You wanna walk, walk and talk? talk? I don't yeah. care if we walk do it talk. or not. Walk it like I talk it. You. Do you wanna go to the outlet store? Do I wanna go to the outlet store? I've never wanted to do anything more in my entire life. But we're going the wrong way, but that's fine. I thought you said you wanna go to the Nike store. Oh, um, you wanna go to the Nike store? We already did, but we, I mean, no, no. Can I just ask and see if they have any of the Concords yeah. real quick? Say no sample. Go to the next thing, I'll hold it. Yeah, fly to the Concords. Team building exercise, not tonight. Surrendering also means forgiving. They go hand in hand. You can't surrender your life to Jesus without actually forgiving people. It's just not possible. I agree. <laughs> Okay, so as we leave you guys today, um, well, not forever, just for this video. <laughs> okay, so think to yourself, reflect on this. 
Am I surrendering my past, my present, and my future to God? Have you been able to put your trust in God or do you only trust your own way? You wanna get that? Mm -hmm. Neil, you wanna pray us out, man? Yeah, I'd love to. God, please help us to trust you more than ourselves. Your ways are higher than our ways and you're in control. We wanna give you our yesterday and our today. Please help us get to the future that you have been dreaming of for us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Good stuff, Neil. Well, I guess, uh, I guess this is goodbye. Where are you? What, do you remember that one lady's name? Was it Swanson? What was it? S Swanson. I think it was Swanson. The sl Slappy. Slappy. Sammy. Sammy. Samson I. I got robbed by a sweet old lady on a motorized cart. <laughs>